Okay. We have the five amazing boys from the Della and Rondo litter. We decided to keep all five of them together because they've all been living together. And I'm going to take a little longer video and really focus on each one of them so you can see how they all interact together. We've got that big boy in green. He is probably the largest of the pack at this point, but not by much. He's just kind of a big guy. He's got a big old dome head on him. Really nice black and red. And then we have the boy here in yellow, who I'd say is right up there in size. He's a little darker in his markings. He's got a little more dark to his face. I don't expect any of them to be super dark. Um, he's got a real personable disposition. He's a little bit more of a talker. You know, when you're working with him, he must express himself and talk to you a little bit more. You know, all of them are doing really good in their crate training. And uh, nobody really fusses or carries on or is difficult to handle. They're very, uh, very easy puppies. We have Mr. Purple here. He's a little bit on the smaller side, but he is gaining rapidly catching up, so I would not say he's going to stay small. He is just a fun guy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Good boy. Super smart. They've been very, very easy to work with. You work with them one time, and they're like, okay, we've got that. We know what you want us to do. And then Mr. Red. Pretty Mr. Red. Red and blue are very close in their personality and their looks. Um, very, very much the same type. I see a lot of Della in both of them. It's daytime. Mr. Blue. We do. The boy in red and the boy in blue are very close. The boy in red has a little deeper red to his markings and maybe a little darker face. He's a black and red, but he's not quite this boy in red is on fire. Yes, he is. Bright red. Yes, he is. 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 Nobody's dominant over food. Nobody is possessive over toys. They just they play nice together. They've got good eye contact. They let me handle them. Um, just good social pups. Yes. still in the puppy biting stage. Um, I usually see that the puppy biting stage really reaches its peak between seven and eight weeks. That's when they're doing the most wanting to chew on you. Uh, these guys have been um, very, very medium to 
wild litter as far as they're wanting to bite. You know, they're doing it at corrective, and they're like, okay, we'll, we'll bite something else. Um, it's not something that's, it's not like they just latch themselves to their pants leg or anything like that. It's been pretty easy to uh, correct. Yeah. I mean, they go through their little Tasmanian alligator times when they're just full of it, and that's when you give them a bone or something and uh, work that out because they have to team to use their mouths. And, found if you give them plenty of things they can chew on, then they leave your stuff alone and it helps them get through that teething process. <laughs> yes, they are. Store and 
get more puppy toys. I realized when we were collecting toys for this, and several had been left out in the yard and they got wet, so I need more puppy toys to play with. We go through a lot of puppy toys. <coughs> Don't be cranky. Come here, guys. Come here. Come on, everybody. Mr. Yellow. Come here, Mr. Yellow. Good boys. All right. Pretty good view of what they're all about. This is pretty much how we see them every single time we play with them. Uh, nobody was uh, nobody was off or uh, exceptionally full of it. It's pretty much their their everyday disposition here. So we're going to get some still pictures so you can get a good look at their big beautiful faces. I'll get this uploaded. Oh, they found Miss Mia. <laughs> All right, guys. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye.